Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom. I am here with you today to do a daily tarot reading. It is Tuesday and it's kind of a cloudy drab day here. <clears throat> Excuse me, but no rain. <laughs> ah. No rain. Um, so what are we going to do? But no sunshine either. So it's just one of those kinds of days. So I hope everyone is doing well. I'm starting with the Sacred Traveler for our opening energies. I have said my prayer and called in our spirit guides. So they will be with us for the reading. So spirit, what do we have for today's reading for the collective? What do they need to know? Bottom of our deck is Gates of Triumph. Success expands in your life. So you may be coming into a, a period of time where you're going to be very successful in, in something you're working on, whether this is a relationship or a career-related thing. You're headed for some great success in your life. So congratulations to whoever, whoever that applies to out in our community here. So let's see what else wanted to come out here this morning well I think it's actually early afternoon now <laughs> okay we have finding sanctuary opening to your spiritual source it's a beautiful energy maybe you're talking more with your spirit guides your ancestors angels things like that looking into angel numbers getting more spiritual in your life Distant thunder, clear the air. So here there could be, this could be you. Maybe you're in a disagreement with someone and spirit is saying, go ahead and clear the air. You can feel the storm and the chaos coming towards you perhaps. Um, or maybe this is someone else who's in the storm, right? And they need to clear the air. And this is a message to them. Clear this energy, clear this air in your life. Um, and you may have to wait. Here we see someone looking out, seeing the storm clouds, you know, like, oh, what do I have to do? And when the time is right, something may happen or trigger. You may be afforded an opportunity to, to talk with someone in some way. Begin now. Take your first step, right? So maybe you're starting out on a new career path maybe you've recently graduated from college right and you're headed for some kind of success maybe a, a great um, work opportunity of some kind um, could be coming in here for somebody far away places get ready for new horizons so maybe you're going to be doing some traveling and this can um, be a literal sign of travel um, it can also mean um, an experience you're having. You're going to be going places in it, this gates of triumph, right? Um, it doesn't mean that you're actually taking a trip, moving somewhere or anything like that. It could mean just an emotional journey that you're going through. And you're going to hit places and areas of success in your life that you've never had before. Grounding, go deep and explore your roots. So we, all, we always want to try to stay grounded and balanced in our energy, you know, not being overreactive or over emotional or under emotional, right? We want to stay in balance. Um, life is easier when we're in balance. We have less um, negative energies around us. We're able to handle and cope with situations in a better and more efficient way. And part of that is being grounded, getting out in nature, connecting with earth, um, taking a nice bath or shower, going to the ocean or a lake, doing some journaling, some meditating, or whatever you might do that grounds you and makes you feel more stable and more connected. Our last, oh, two more, sorry. And then we have traveling lightly, simplify your life right? Um, 
stop carrying so much baggage and worries and concerns with you. Um, there's a statistic like 97% of the time we worry way too much. We overthink. We're just, we get ourselves anxious in a mess over, um, worries and concerns. And it's only 3% of the time that that worry is ever even warranted. So think about your own life and all the time and energy that you've put into worrying about something that never came to fruition. That's one way you can simplify your life, okay? So think about it like that. It's not always just getting more organized or um, making lists and things like that. It's about releasing things that aren't for us, that don't matter to us anymore. Letting go of negative and old energies in our lives. And vast vistas, expand your horizons. How can you expand in your current con condition? How can you condition circumstances? How can you expand? Maybe you're um, growing a business or like you're just out on your career path and expand upon, get out of your house more, see what's out there, what you can do, okay? Wow, so we've got a lot of reference to, to travel, to success, um, releasing some energies perhaps. Hmm. So let's take uh, the good tarot and see what wants to come out today for energies. Let's take a minute, shuffle and connect in spirit to this energy for today. The grounding triumph, simplicity, vast vistas. All righty, here we go. All right, Spirit, what does the collective need to know today? Okay, bottom of our deck is the Four of Swords. So Four of Swords is an energy of someone that's healing a heart. Um, they've been through a heartbreak and they're just um, gently taking care of their heart. Um, and this could be somebody that's um, even focused while healing their heart that has some focus on um, some type of a project they could be working on, um, really uh, devoted and, and connected into something emotional that way. I uh, got that feeling for someone. Um, and under that, we have the Four of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles, followed by the Moon. And we have a full moon coming up on June 21st. Okay, so let's take a look here. We have one, two, three, four of the nine cards are major arcana. So that's about half. And when we have that many, that tells us that so much of this is out of your control. Um, we don't have as much process level energy here. You know, we probably have a good balance of both going. 
So in the center of our spread, we have the Nine of Swords uh, talking about worry, right? That's what our Nine of Swords energy is. This is someone very anxious, very regretful, overthinking, overworking, maybe having difficulty sleeping and getting the rest they need, um, maybe dreaming a lot, nervous, Maybe there could even be depression or anxiety going on here for somebody. Okay, so that's in the center of our energy. Um, air is a fast-moving energy. Um, so when we think about a nine, it could be the ninth, um, nine days or so that you might hear something from somebody. Hmm. Okay, in our first position, we have the sun. And the sun is about happiness, joy. It's the yes card. But it's also about clarity and um, someone seeing the light, um, being inspired, something like that. And then we have the three of pentacles. And this is about... Um, coming together and compromising, collaborating, building something, working together. Um, growing something together. Teamwork, a, a business collaboration of some kind. Someone's getting clear on it. And then we have the Two of Swords. Somebody who is taking some time, some deliberate um, deliberately holding back their energies, pending further enlightenment, further clarity um, about this could even be a work situation of some kind. Maybe somebody's thinking about leaving a work situation or something related to collaboration and cooperation. Okay, into our middle row, we have the Four of Pentacles. And this is somebody, sorry, I have a train going through. <laughs> Let me just take a second. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I think the loudest part of the noise is past. <clears throat> so our Four of Pentacles energy is, it's a long one today. <clears throat> so the Four of Pentacles is someone who could be very generous by nature, right? They're a loving, kind, giving person. But they also hold their energy back. They're very careful about who they let in, who they share their energy with. They may have a small group of friends. They may be careful how they use their abundance um, in their life. Then this nine of swords energy, this worry and concern. We have the three of swords energy, the heartbreak. Maybe this is heartbreak of the past since we have the four of swords, something that's still bothering somebody perhaps. Then in our last row, we have the lovers, right? So we have a decision in love here. Um, we have somebody in the hanged man trying to get enlightenment on something. And we have the devil energy here. <laughs> wow. And, you know, these two cards go hand in hand, right? Um, when the lovers is healthy, it's the lovers card. When it's not so healthy, they're tied to the devil in some way. Whether it's addiction, um, fear, infidelity, cheating, stealing, you know, any of those kinds of energies um, bound the lovers to the devil card. So we've got interesting energy here today. Very interesting energy. Holy cow. All right.
right. Let's get in and clarify some of this so we can. It's like someone's making a decision in love. They're thinking, are we going to work together? What do I need to release, maybe? How do I drop this heartache in my life, even if it's a past situation? So tell me about the sun energy here, Spirit. What is this energy? Okay. <laughs> um, we have the Page of Pentacles. This is a beginner on a path um, to earn pentacles in their life. We have the Hierophant energy. So this is a very spiritual connection here. Um, this is somebody that is, this is Archangel Gabriel, and he is, you know, connected, and somebody is in this energy. It's about our ethics, our morality, the rules we play in life. It's about uh, commitments and agreements in our life, and he helps with those energies. We have the chariot. This is about balanced forward movement. It's about being in balance, being in control of your emotions, knowing what you want and going after it. It's an energy of success and triumph too. And then we have the wheel of fortune, some change coming in here for someone, some divine timing maybe. Tell me more about the three of pentacles, please. Three of Pentacles is the star energy. It's clarity, illumination, lights up the dark, wish upon a star, and maybe divine timing. Somebody is walking away from the <clears throat> broken cups in their life and going towards the sun, their happiness. We have a King of Cups here, and this is an emotionally balanced person, kind, compassionate, giving, shows their love through acts of service, um, may have a hard time emotionally expressing how they feel or talking about their feelings, but they are a kind, generous, mature, giving soul. And we have the energy of a death and rebirth here for somebody. Tell me about the Two of Swords energy. Well, cards are very responsive today. Two of Swords is the Page of Cups. So this is a beginning um, love connection, right? It's the text messages, the phone calls, that type of an energy, a beginning energy. And when pigs fly, I did an angel reading last night and there was another card with a pig uh, that flies. So, um, you know, something surprising could be coming in here for someone. And we have the Ace of Wands, a, a creative, expressive, um, passionate, desirable kind of energy here in our um, Page of Cups. And they're holding their energy back right now. They're trying to figure out something in their life. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is the Emperor. So this is somebody that's um, being careful with their energy, um, holding their energy back um, in some way. Um, generous by nature, but very careful with their, their abundance. And what else? And he's in fool energy right now. So he's getting ready to take a leap of faith of some kind. And tell me about the nine of swords energy.
four of wands. This is about um, stability in our lives. It's about a celebration, a getting together, a milestone reached of some kind. Um, having a good time could be an invitation to something. And it's the 1111 card, right? Could be a union of some kind. We have the Ten of Wands here, an emotional burden that we need to put down and let go of. And um, I talked about that a little bit in the opening energies because I was having that, that feeling that someone was worrying and carrying some, that traveling lightly energy, carrying an emotional burden. Um, we have the Hanged Man energy here. And we have the lover's energy here. And this is all on that nine of swords energy. And two of these cards are here in the bottom. Wow. And it looks like we're reading for a masculine with two men, uh, two masculine energies out here. Now that you could still be a female here. We're reading for a masculine energy, not a man. Okay, tell me about the Three of Swords. Justice is coming in here for a broken heart in some situation. What else about the Three of Swords? The Devil. <laughs> so, and we have Judgment, Justice and Judgment. Two of Wands, this is um, somebody that knows what they want, knows what they want to be, who they want to be with. They, they have the map, they have the plan, they have the details, and they're just waiting um, for their ships to come in. And then we have the Empress. So is this this Empress's energy here? And as I look at this, spread we have the emperor on one end and we have the empress on the ender and we have the lovers in the middle wow the image right and we've got a fool there tell me about the lovers <laughs> Okay, the lovers is the moon energy, and this could be something that's hidden from you. You might not know what's going on here, that this energy exists in your life in some way. Um, it could be in somebody in deep emotions, maybe trying to get that clarity, this hanged man energy, what's going on? And they're somewhat guarded, right? Um, they could be standing their ground in some situation, holding firm and what they believe and not entertaining other offers, other entities, that kind of an energy. Or this can be somebody that is just like, I'm, I'm done with love. I'm holding everyone and everything out. Tell me about the hanged man. The hanged man is the king of wands. King of wands is our oh, fiery, passionate, um, magnetic. Um, energy, you know, he walks in to a place and everybody turns and looks at him, right? He's dressed nice. He smells nice. He's captivating, magnetic, um, fiery personality sometimes can be a playing energy too <clears throat> a player type what else about the hanged man this hanged man is currently in a tower three of wands and this is about 
getting on the ship and going somewhere, taking some action of some kind. And it's also a receiving energy. And then we have the Eight of Wands here. <clears throat> Eight of Wands is about communication, um, fast moving energies. Um, this could be, um, you know, telephone calls, um, text messages. This could be your energy just being faster. This could be um, spiritual download, spiritual communication as well for somebody. And tell me about temptation, please. We have the Ace of Cups here. Somebody thinking about making a love offer to somebody. And that's someone who is currently in the Four of Pentacles, holding their energy back. Could be somebody that's spying on you, checking you out, you know, looking at your social media pages, following you, talking with your friends. If you've had a past relationship with someone, they could be looking at your pictures or your past text messages or phone calls. And this Five of Swords energy, somebody up in their head thinking about all of this, getting frustrated and angry, annoyed. Maybe people are whispering to them, gossiping. Maybe they're getting messages from spirit too. We've got all this bird energy around. So they're really conflicted about Maybe it's about how to face somebody, how to come forward with truth or information in some way, that they're really conflicted about it. Okay, so we've got a, the Wheel of Fortune here. Something's going to be changing. This fool is going to take some action, although we've seen fool energy for a long while here. Um this emperor towards the empress, I imagine. So tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What's going on here? Wheel of Fortune, please, spirit. That is for a Queen of Swords. So she's going forward. She's got change coming in. And she's in a little bit of regret and sadness here. Next one, we've got death and rebirth. And we're walking away. Tell me about the star energy. That's the six of swords moving away to Kama Shores. And the Three of Pentacles. Maybe this is moving away from a toxic work situation. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a Nine of Cups. This is Wish Fulfillment. Wow. Tell me about the fool energy. The fool energy is the seven of swords, somebody um, coming in somebody from the past, maybe somebody that ran, they're thinking about coming back in some way. Maybe it's um, a surprise, something you don't know about. A secret.
Tell me about the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is that stability energy and that um, the Eight of Pentacles, right? Somebody with their head down, focused on their work, building something in their life and the stability that might come from hard work, right? Um, we have this heartbroken energy again and we have a magician. So somebody transmuting that pain, letting it go turning it into positive energy in their life, using the elements around them to manifest the life they want. Um, tell me about the Empress. Oh, the Six of Cups, this is like soulmate energy, right? This could be a past life soulmate. This could be an energy from the past coming back. And there's happiness here. Whatever this soul connection is, it's making this empress happy. And she's getting clarity on it. What is this Eight of Wands energy? Eight of Wands is the Four of Cups. So this is somebody in some sadness. Huh. The Queen of Wands energy is here. And High Priestess energy. Hmm. Huh. And what about the Five of Swords energy? Somebody in the Nine of Swords energy. And tell me about the Ace of Cups. Seven of Wands, somebody that's spiritually aligned, you know, protecting their energies. They know they're spiritually blessed, um, spiritual protection here, and they're going about their business. And maybe this is somebody who has their boundaries in place. They know what's right for them and what's not. What else about the Ace of Cups? Hermit energy here. So we have a Hermit and a High Priestess. That's a spiritual couple. And we have the Emperor and Empress. It's a divine couple. And the world, the end of a cycle. And we had that first light energy. Something new is happening here. A new experience. Now we're... We're just releasing the past, right? That Ten of Swords, it's over. You're at a completion with this. It's over, it's done. This energy of the past that maybe has plagued you and held you down and held you back and brought on a lot of confusion for you in the past, maybe it's finally clearing. There's going to be this final big release of this energy in your life. Um, tell me more about this Seven of Swords energy. Yeah, that's somebody single and available to pursue. And tell me about the world. Uh -huh, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. So you have some worry here. 
somebody's worried about you. Oh, and you have some choices. Well, maybe you're going to have to make a choice. Who is in hermit energy? Two of Cups, Knight of Cups. And the Page of Wands. Somebody excited about the path they're on. Okay. <laughs> When I stop shuffling, we have the Six of Wands. Victory, right? Triumph expands in your life. Um, you know, I'm looking at this um, down here on the bottom, the Empress. Um, and she's got the Sun, the Clarity, her Two of Wands, the actions she's taking in her life with a soulmate of some kind. She's excited. She's happy. Okay, so it looks like we have a divine couple that is either together or is coming together. Perhaps this emperor is going to be formally, of, you know, coming towards this empress who's um, releasing some kind of past energy in their life they're they're letting it go and they're welcoming in something new um, i'm not quite sure who's releasing this energy if it's the masculine or the feminine but we have um the spiritual side of this connection as well the empress and the empress with um you know this is their spiritual energies All right, this is spiritual. All right, so let's see what the outcome is going to be here. Looks like someone might be leaving a work situation behind in some way. We've got wish fulfillment here. All right, Spirit, what is the outcome to this reading? What's the takeaway for our collective energies? star and the knight of swords Seven of Wands. Okay. Six of Swords. Okay. So this is the takeaway here from this energy here. And we have justice is coming in. And this is probably justice from a past heartache that you endured in some way. 
<clears throat> Seven of Cups, you have some different opportunities, some different choices before you. Um, and just make good conscious decisions. Ace of Cups is here. A cup of love is around you, whether this is self-love or energy coming towards you. We have Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Nine of Pentacles, um, a confident, independent, single person here. Two of Cups, the Soul Connection. Chariot, Balanced Forward, Emotional Movement. The Star, Illumination, Healing. Clarity. Knight of Swords coming in with some information. Eight of Cups walking away towards their happiness. Seven of Wands um, spiritually protected in the work they're doing. Six of Wands victory, success, triumph. And the Ace of Wands, that passion and creativity coming in here for somebody. So... It looks like, you know, our emperor is going to be coming towards our feminine. Um, maybe with this next full moon, this energy is going to ha happen. Um, somebody is still transmuting some energy, right? They're still working past this heartache in their life. But we've got the ten of wands and the ten of swords here so both parties are releasing um, heavy emotional um, burdens and pain from the past in their lives and let's take sacred forest here oh and i see a little bit of sun starting to poke out speaking of the sun huh? all right spirit what higher levels are around this energy? So we have the full moon on the 21st. Bottom of our deck is Pegasus and Transcending. And this is about rising above it all, right? Just rising above it and moving forward in life. Um, seeing clearly, seeing more, understanding more, right? Just rising above. Beautiful energy. Okay, we have Guardian of Spring and Activation. So um, new beginnings, new growth, um, expansion we saw here, um, a fresh new beginning. It's springtime. It's the perfect time for growth and the start of something new. Dragonfly spirit change is coming in here, and you may be getting communication from a masculine in some way about some type of change. We have fire spirit with energy, right? And this energy is um, building, whether this is on a career path, whether this is in a relationship, or if this is a combined union, maybe this masculine and feminine are working together on something. Maybe they're helping each other heal here. That's the feeling I'm getting in this reading, that they are united in working through um, past pains and emotional burdens in their life. And they're triggering each other and helping each other move forward in life and um, releasing the past. Um, and, and so anyways, that energy is 
building and growing the fire, the passion, the creativity. It's just rising. And storm spirit with chaos. Life might feel a little chaotic as you move through these changes in your life. Um, as, as that energy rises. And sometimes it's just about clearing, clearing out some things that have been bogging you down, right? And starry night is acceptance, accepting things the way they are, accepting things as is, accepting people at face value, accepting where you are in the world, accepting what you're doing, accepting of yourself and who you are, loving yourself. And dragon, and this is that energy of an angel ally that is working with you to help you step more into your power, to be a leader, to grow in that kind of a position. And wizard of the woods, stay focused on what you want in your life. Have eagle eye focused on what you want in your life. And flexibility will be important, right? Being able to consider other people's thinking, not being rigid and committed to any one thought or approach, being open to suggestions, being willing to change your, um, your day, uh, be flexible, flowing with energies. It's going to be increasingly important as life gets um, busier and more complicated in some way, okay? I feel this energy here just being a really um, a flexible person and not to the point that we compromise what's best for ourselves, right? Not being rigid and still having boundaries and speaking up for oneself saying, yes, um, I can do this, but I, I can't do that. I'm okay with this, but I'm not okay with that. And that's about having that seven of wands kind of boundary energy too. Like this is my point. No, I won't do this. Yes, let's do this whatever. We have to have those, those boundaries in life as well. It makes things easier for everybody. All right. That's our daily tarot reading for today. Thank you all for being here, for supporting your channel, for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscriptions. I appreciate you all so very, very much. Thank you for being here, and I hope you have a great Tuesday, and I will see you in the next reading. Love and light to all. Bye-bye.